Hey there, I'm Robert and welcome back to Tone Chase Basement. Imagine stepping into a whimsical workshop where the laws of physics and sound intertwine with the fantastical, much like the gothic fairy tales of Tim Burton. Well, from this mystical realm emerges the light pedal, from the sorcerers of guitar pedals Game Changer Audio. This device is not merely born from technology, but the marriage of light, shadows and reverberation, and stands as a beacon of innovation in a world thirsty for auditory enchantment. Game Changer Audio is definitely the most eccentric pedal company and has established itself as a pioneer in the realm of musical effects, constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible with sound and obviously light, and hopefully they won't mess with space and time with their next pedals. Their ethos revolves around innovation and before unseen creativity and the philosophy that has led to collaborations with notable artists such as Jack White himself. These kind of partnerships underline Game Changers Audio's commitment to developing not only tools that enhance musical expression, but to inspire the artists to explore new ways and new technology to create music. <laughs> The light pedal is one of the proofs of this dedication, reimagining the traditional reverb effect, combining old school mechanics and cutting edge technology. I really don't know how they come up with all these ideas, but for this one I can imagine something like this. Hey man, what's the most boring guitar effect ever? Well, spring reverb. Okay, now let's make a version of it that is the most interesting one and uh, while making it, let's break all the rules of physics. Yeah, why not? And they did it. I tried to understand how this pedal works and my head started to ache as I got deeper into the technicalities, so I'm not going to bore you with the technical data, for that there are other videos already and if you're interested you can also read it on the Game Changer Audio website. Long story short, the light pedal's innovation is in its optical reverb system, a groundbreaking approach that sets it apart from the conventional reverb pedals. Traditional reverb units use springs or digital algorithms to create the echo effect, but the light pedal employs an optical system that uses infrared optical sensors to capture the nuanced vibrations of its springs and capture sounds as ethereal as whispers in a haunted mansion. This alchemical fusion creates a reverb of unparalleled depth and clarity, with more richer and more detailed reverb sound, capturing the essence of the spring reverb's character, but expanding its sonic possibilities that could serenade spirits from their ethereal domains. The light pedal's unique power lies within its dual heart, the one beating with warm blood, the traditional spring reverb, and the other pulsating, cold, crystalline clarity of optical reverb, and this dance of light and darkness allows for a spectral range of sounds, 
from the comforting echo of familiar haunts to the chilling breeze of unknown realms. This visual aid helps you somewhat understand how this pedal works and can guide you to set it up the way you want it. So who says you can see the sounds, right? So not just heard, but seen, its visual design is equally captivating. The light pedal's array of lights flicker and dance, guiding the musician through their sonic exploration. These visual spells are not mere decoration, but a window into the soul of the pedal, reflecting the magic within. So these lights not only indicate the pedal's operational state, but also enhance the user's experience by offering a visual representation of the sound being produced crafting an experience as mesmerizing as a sci-fi fantasy dreamscape. Twisting its knobs and pressing its switches is akin to navigating a labyrinth of sound, each turn and twist unveiling eerie corridors of tone and ambience. From the cryptic depths of its decay to the shimmering lights of modulation, the light pedal invites you to sculpt the very essence of sound. Here lie sub-effects like sweep, tremolo, reflection, feedback, harmonic, ready to breathe life into the shadows and affect the sound through the optical sensors. A variety of knobs lets you fine-tune your sound to infinite possibilities. The drive knob that actually sets the drive of the wet signal. Then there is the gate knob which can manipulate the length of the reverb based on your playing dynamics. Then there is the tone knob that lets you fine-tune and let's say EQ your wet sound. And there is the control knob which is the most important knob on this unit. The control knob is actually in charge of the behavior of the optical sensors. You can set which sectors of the optical sensors are active and set the speed and value and the strength of the sub-effects as well. There are three level knobs, the dry, which sets the level of your dry signal, then you can set the level of the spring reverb, and then you can set the level of the optical reverb as well, so you can make a mix however you like it. There is also a so-called dual mode, so you can activate two sub-effects at the same time by holding the foot switch while selecting any other sub-effect, so for example tremolo and reflection together or any other combination is possible. Also one very important and a very unusual thing to find on a guitar pedal is a shock sensor powered by an accelerometer chip. Because uh, spring reverbs can be pretty sensitive to shaking, hits and generally physical impacts, so you can set its sensitivity to soft and hard and once some impact is detected, then it turns off the wet signal immediately.
As our journey concludes, the Game Changer Audio Light Pedal stands not merely as a pedal, but as a portal into untold realms, and in the hands of those brave enough to venture into its depths, it offers not just sound, but a story, a narrative from the very fabric of imagination and innovation. In the embrace of the light pedal, every musician becomes a composer of the fantastical, and each know deeper into a world where boundaries between real and surreal blur into oblivion. <laughs> I can definitely claim without any doubts that this is the most extraordinary and most unusual effect pedal that I have ever played. And if you have the chance to try it or to buy it, then don't hesitate. It will provide you a never before felt experience. And that is how you can turn the most boring effect in the world into the most interesting and most engaging one. So all my respect to them. Thanks for watching and if you like this one please like, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more content. Until next time. And remember, the perfect tone is always just within reach. <laughs>